while there are tens of thousands of people whose lives are, are back to normal in the last year. Um, and we celebrate that. Uh, it's kind of like when, um, when I would be announcing, you know, during the immediate aftermath of the storm when 7 million people had lost power in New Jersey. 7 million of 8.8 .8 million people had lost power. And I'd come up every day, do press conference, and say, okay, well, today we restored 120,000 houses to power. And I know if you were listening to me on a transistor radio and your power wasn't back on, I know what you're saying. Who the hell cares? <laughs> My power's not back on, so I really don't give a damn. Um, right? Yeah, and, and so, and that's a natural feeling, you know? I understand that. And it's the same thing today. You know, we have tens of thousands of people who are back in their homes, back to normal life. But if you're one of those people who aren't, it's not that you don't care about the people who have their lives back to normal, but it means less if your life isn't there yet. Now, we need to celebrate the great accomplishments that we've put together over the last year in rebuilding the state and restoring normalcy. And we need to celebrate all the volunteers and the folks who have been working so hard to get this done. But at the same time, I want folks here in Union Beach and others across the state to know that that does not mean when we celebrate them that we have forgotten you. It doesn't mean that we've forgotten that there are still people in this town and in towns all up and down the Jersey Shore and up in Bergen County whose lives aren't back to normal. But we gotta be able to do both because the celebration of our accomplishments is what helps to give hope to the people whose lives are still not back to normal. 